Have you been to a chemistry lab, that modest space where cutting-edge science happens? It is the birthplace of tomorrow's technologies. Yet most chemistry labs are cluttered with gallons and gallons of solvents. These are liquids that are used in enormous quantities to run reactions. Some are as safe as water, but many solvents are fatal, like acetonitrile, which when we absorb, turns into cyanide in our bodies. Labs, chemical industries, drug manufacturers, all consume solvents by the tons, but only 20% of that goes into their final products. Just last year, this waste was nearly $250 billion. Even worse, we're all breathing these poisons every single day. That is a massive dollar and environmental cost that we must eliminate. My research focuses on a specific kind of chemistry called mechanochemistry that can change this. So what is mechanochemistry? It is very simple. Forget the solvents. Just take the materials you want and crush them until they react. You're driving chemistry by force. It turns out that in most of chemistry, all that the solvents do is enable the materials to meet so they can react. But we observe that by just mixing these materials vigorously, we can imitate the solvent effect and run the same reactions without a drop of these toxic solvents. It gets even better. Apart from just mixing, we were able to crush these materials between fast-moving steel pellets. With pressures high enough to snap our thigh bones in half, we were able to accelerate the reactions and make them happen in minutes, whereas the same in a solvent would take hours to complete. So this force chemistry is fast, and there's no waste. We have saved the world, right? Not yet. Mechanochemistry is magic. It works, but we don't know how. One of the biggest challenges is that the crushing forces are so random. It's like Hulk breaking things in people without any control. Whereas mechanochemistry must be thought of like playing billiards or snooker, intentionally hitting precise targets with controlled forces. So to end this guessing game, we built this reactor with integrated force control. We can now crush materials precisely, but more importantly, measure the forces in real time. With this device, we are already seeing great promise in making vitamin crystals that can be more easily absorbed by us and impossible to produce through solvent chemistry. Not just us, the pharmaceutical industry is heavily pushing for mechanochemistry. They call it the next revolution of material synthesis. We may still be far away from saving the world, but surely we're taking baby steps in the right directions. Having said all this, please don't throw your solvents away yet, but don't underestimate the force. Thank you.